Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbed Designs. In case you're joining me for the first time, what I want you to do is to please hit on the red button here, the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you don't want to miss out on anything, I you just have to hit on the notification bell so that you don't miss anything whenever I upload new video. All right, we'll be going straight into today's tutorial. Uh, one of my viewers actually asked me if how do I upload music links to my blog as I did on my own blog. Let me show you how it is on my blog so that you get. All right, as you can see from this particular site here, now you can see they have the, these are all their music. It's a kind of a music site. This are their music and this if you click on any of these for example let me be making use of let me open this particular one you can see as it opens you can actually see this are the this is the album art they uploaded that's the image of it then these are the details about the song then you can see how the download link this is the download link for the song yeah actually don't forget about this this is not the download link this is just like part of it these are it if you click on this it's not going to download them most of them will not download you can see when you check on the link below by this corner here you see that you are going to see a different link so that one is actually not really the links so when you click on this you can see it's giving us a different so if you if I should, like now I'm using actually using a UC browser to upload to browse here if I should click on this download link now you can see that it's going to pop up meaning it's actually the download link is actually working for it to pop up like this for me to download it's actually working so now um, let me just download it just for my own listening pleasure so I'm going to show you how to copy this link now now what I'm going to be showing you I'm going to show you like two ways of doing this but in this particular video now I'm going to show you how to get this link directly from here without you having to if case like for mine for my own blog now I tend to have like a cloud up I have a cloud up account where I not usually download the music as I just downloaded this one just now then work on the music edit whatever i want to edit on the music then upload it back to my word cloud up account then from the cloud up account that's where i get the download link to upload to link to my da download link on my blog so now if you check the stress of right now on that cloud up you hardly open a new account they don't right now they they have a little restriction they don't I really allow you to open and create a new account except you have their invite code and it's actually difficult for you to get that their invite code i've been making some research on how to get that code particular code but it's a quite little bit difficult right now so you boy you can actually try some other alternatives such as maybe like you can actually use your google drop dropbox google um your google drive you can use your google drive to also upload your music over there then get the link from there and upload to your blog now let me show you how to get this now okay now for this particular one i want to get this link without me downloading the link so what i'm going to do now is for me to go to my blog then create this link so so if someone clicks on download from my blog it's person is going to actually download this song straight from my blog but what it means now the link I'm giving is not directly from my blog. The link is download when I click on that, when someone clicks on that download link on my blog, it will take the person to where it's not going to take the person out of your site. Based on what I'm going to show you now, it won't take the person out of your site. The person will still remain in your site. But the link is downloading it from this other site where you collected it because they have they might have uploaded it in somewhere. So now you are going they will not the link will now go to where they uploaded that in and download give, download the song for them let's try something here like for example i have this now on 
now i'm going to open this is my new post i want to create a new post i'm using my main blog so that i'll show you this i want to create a new post i'm coming back to here i get the title of the post get the title copy the title then go back to here paste it where i'm having the title usually on my description i like pasting it here later on i'll show you how to bring all this search description out now on this side of this place i will now come okay this is a picture i can download it then upload it but if i'm using system directly i'll just want to just right click on it and do copy just copy the image now okay once you copy that image i will just come back here and paste it in case you yours is downloaded you downloaded you know how I've, you might already know how to upload your image here coming down to this image icon click on it and just download upload it to this place you already know how to do that so i like my own to be actually at the center then just scroll down below it now i'll come back here now to where i'm having the article the main article say mastercraft written now just copy this up to this extent this is not included copy this now come back to your blog and paste it there come back here and copy this remaining part of it now i'm copying together with the link i'm copying it together with the link then copy come back to here and paste now you can see when i came and pasted it here it came together with the link if you check always check on it this is how the link is supposed to be once you see it like this you know that it's the right link but if you are seeing something like let me say another like the main full website link like for example let me copy one let me copy one here let me see if you are seeing something like this copy link address and let me bring it if you're seeing let me just paste it here so that you see it if you're seeing something like this leading to something you also know that this particular post this particular link might lead you like some people will upload let me say for example a video and a video of this particular post then on the music link they will now add a link that directs them to where the music actually is so now when you bring that that kind of link is better when you first of all check it if the link is actually the real downloadable link once you notice that it is not a downloadable link the best thing you would I would advise you to do ensure you go and get the main downloadable link if possible try it and see if it act, actually download you can actually pause it and just download the link copy the link then you upload it to this particular site you link it to the post so for now i'm going to delete the whole of this side out because i just use, use it to then show you what to do there then now if you want this when downloading you want to, to open in a new page you can tick this page but if you best you leave it like this then click on ok now on this place you are having just notice i copied this thing from another site so now when you see this now ensure every link like now this if i leave this link is going to so link if someone should click on it it's going to take the person out of my blog and take the person to this particular blog so this is not what i will be needing for mine so i will ensure i remove it just click on remove the link will go out so now note one thing i always advise you is not to just copy straight and paste just like that because why applying for AdSense that's for AdSense so that you'll be able to start making money from your blog it's going to give you difficulty so the best thing I will advise you to do once you copy your post like this ensure you try as much as editing it make sure it is not the same thing as what you are having on the other blog where you copied it from try as much as editing it very well so I'm going to try and edit this one. okay 
like this side now i'm going to instead of mad heat yeah i'm going to now change it to let me say crown explicit as they have here let me say crown explicit media for your listening pleasure hit the download link button to get okay i need this to go down then okay let me just try to edit something here master crown It's another hit jam which he titled titled now and go delete this now turn me on it's made available And don't forget to share your views. I mean, your thoughts. Let's see me use. Okay, then, okay, I can put this as my subheading. Then just try to play around with this one now I think okay I always like my post to have one font so I can come to where we have font and I like using Georgia or mine so I make it sure it's on Georgia then you can see how I've been able to format this very well so now it is mainly hardly difficult for Google to actually dictate if I actually copy this because I tried as much as trying to edit so many things some parts of it right here so once you have done that i'm okay with this particular side of this now i'm just going to okay link it to a label you can see i have several tons of labels here now i'm going to link mine to music mine is under music now so i'm going to click on okay now this is okay I want to I don't want to schedule the post I want it to upload immediately now I'm going to after that let me show you the preview of how this will look actually look like just wait for it to load I can't really wait for it to load out very well oh, okay but this will actually show you the preview if you have the image should appear on this particular site then the post this is how it's going to actually look like with your download link as you stated for it here now after doing this you just you can close this preview and since you you are sure of how you the layout looks like then you can now click on publish your post so once i publish my post it gets published and that is all for that particular section now the same thing i'm going to do 
while doing working on my videos it's just the same thing i'm going to do like for example let me create another one containing a video so now once i come to this publish i mean add new post let me look for any video here on this site let me look for a video and go to videos okay so that it will be easy okay from here okay let me assume i want to make use of this particular video i'll just click on this one now i've already uploaded this i'm going to okay the video opens now if you notice if you notice when you scroll down okay now let me copy as i did the other time i'll copy this then come to my blog put it there just then come back here get the image copy the image i want to use then upload it here let me go down now come back here once you come down now you can see it's not this is not actually loading because it's of network but if once your network is okay it should open the main video for you here so that you will be able to see it now but what i'm going to do here now is for you to i'm going to show you something if you are having if i don't know how to make this to show now okay i've been able to refresh this again okay now this is how it's going to look like this particular video was uploaded to youtube as i showed you in the other or my in other videos how to identify youtube videos this particular video was actually uploaded to youtube so now for how am i going to get can copy the embed okay now let me show you now i've actually gone ahead to copy the whole details as i showed you in the music post how i did in the music post now now in between here yeah, i think let me i need here yeah, let the music video enters here so now what i'm going to do now is you can actually okay let me see why i was copying this you can copy from the whole of this part select together with the video let me say i select together with the video up to this extent or i can stop here just ensure the video is selected then copy it you cut sorry select together with the video then copy it then come back to where you have your blog okay let me remove this side i uploaded i inserted here first now i'll now paste it once you paste what you have it's going to come with the video you, you can see it came together with the video so you can actually click on it to preview how it is going to actually play from your blog straight but note this was actually a youtube video okay what if i don't want to do this part do it like this yes another way you can actually use also then for example let me remove this video video let me delete it out you can see i've deleted the video out how am i going to add this video still another way i'm going to show you is coming to here now you are going to right click on it and copy the embed code copy embed code so once you copy the code you come back to your blog now i'm going to just put in i want something that will tell me where this particular place is so i'm just going to for example I'm, i like using this just make something like this just write something like this on the way you want this particular video to be now now come to this will serve as guide for me i will now come to this html this is composed i'm actually i'm composed now come to html then click on it so when i click on it once you scroll in case you're not seeing it you can just scroll down you will see where you are having that h h h h, -h i up i inserted there so i'll just copy that whole of the h h h ensure it is only the h h h i'm not copying the all these icons here are not included all this other greater than or less than is not included only the h then i'm not going to delete the h and just try to format it make give it a little then paste that embed code i copied 
that's the embed code I copied from here. That's this embed code I copied. I will now paste it here. This is the code I've pasted here. So now, this is the embed code that is responsible for showing this particular video from YouTube. So now, now come here. Like my, I like editing it. I have a particular setup I use so that it will balance on my blog very well. I like using this particular number. So if yours you can actually leave it like that it will work perfectly well but for my own blog setting i like using this particular 700 and 400 plus then i'll now come back to my compose you come back to your compose you can see it's going to produce for you the video just the way it did the other time so now this is what we am having now the same way i copied it from here directly the same way i'm having it here why I actually don't advise you, you can actually upload your video directly if you have it on your phone or on your laptop directly. You can actually come here, I mean come to video, click on it, insert a video and just copy and just ins go navigate to where the video is and just upload it directly to your blog. But what I'm actually, I usually I don't advise you doing here is you if you continue to uploading directly to your blog like this it's going to fill up your space it's going to fill up your available space that blogger gives to you so that's why i always advise if you can actually upload all this in, in a different so i always ad like to advise you to actually upload look for somewhere to upload it off this blogger like for example as i said i usually most of the time if i don't i have a youtube channel actually so if like for example this particular video if i want to upload this video i don't come directly here to upload it i have to upload it on my youtube first i upload it on my youtube first on that youtube now i have a very big large space to upload it on youtube so i can just upload it on my youtube then what the only thing i need to do is just copy the embed link and come and upload this here to my blog and also another way you can actually use to upload this video as in to get the link the download like for example the download link directly if you want to do this like for example as i said same thing with music let me open my cloud up account and show you where but although they don't accept new people for now they stopped new registration except you have their invite code that's or the only way you can actually open a new account with this cloud up okay let me just log in and show you something i mean Okay, now you can see I'm actually on my dashboard now. This is how everything looks like. This is where, like now, for example, this is almost all what I've uploaded on this cloud. Of you can see I have tons and tons of them. So now you can see as I upload in. Let me, let me say, for example, if it were this song, I uploaded this song now on this particular place. Once I click on it, how am I going to get the download link? You can see once it's uploaded, it's going to look like this. Now you come here, just right click on it, you see the download link. That is for this if you are actually using this. Once you copy this link and you go to where you are supposed to have your music and you enter that's you come maybe okay for example download mp3 and change then you change the link. Once you go change link, then you replace it with your own link that we actually so whenever someone click on that link is going to actually download the song from here directly to so just pick the song from here and download send to the person that is how it works if you are using an external account of, or uploading it into anywhere okay now what one thing i want to get cleared i tried making that clear in our other video but i think this we actually serve 
work well here because I'm seeing a different like now for example here now this their particular song actually has its mp3 somewhere else the audio that's the audio file somewhere else so by the time I click on this you can see this is what I've been telling you now this is actually not the download link if I should click let me go back to where I copied it from you can see you are having download mp3 so now let me assume I open in a new tab I want to open this now and you notice this link now when I open it is actually going to redirect me to or somewhere else where this song is so if I should leave that on my blog that way when someone click on that download link to open download the audio it's going to take this person to this particular site which is not what you want so now the best thing you ensure once you check on it as I did here now and it opens to this place ensure you scroll down and get the main download link now once I this is the main download link now for example if I try clicking on it it's going to pop up for me to download this is what I'm I was trying to uh, explain to you in the other video where in that's in the first instance where I uploaded the mu music so now this is the download link I need when I click on it right click copy the link then come back to where you have yeah that's download mp3 or audio then now you can now replace that link with this so now so if someone should click on this directly it's going to just download the song directly without taking the person to any other place now on this download let me now check the video link if the video link they uploaded if it is also working very well so let me check video link okay the video link is actually working well because I think I guess they might have uploaded this somewhere else okay on their blog they are up, on their own site they uploaded it has a video link so this is this will actually work you can actually download the video so the video link is actually working has we copied so the this is the actual download link for the video link so it's going to work so now the next thing I'm going to do let me just change sorry same thing here just going to work on it then this let me make it a subheading then on this side I like making it just trying to format it the way then I'm going to edit this don't forget as I said before always try to edit yours this particular site always try to edit it so that it won't repeat itself on other sites so I'm just going to try and edit this here on Smith for download for download right here on Crimson Kingdom for your listening pleasure is it a full song and don't and don't forget all right then think let me just leave it like this you can just on your own just ensure you try to edit it very well so that they don't detect any form of copying and pasting that you're actually copying directly and pasting so now on this i'm going to have it on two that's i'm having a music here the audio and also i'm having a video music video okay so now i'm going to actually maybe on this link i'm going to add something like mp3 also it has video and also mp3 then now i'm going to just now format this i said i always like my posts to always have one font georgia then i just have to save it like this now let me show you preview 
a preview of it while it's loading done is okay everything is set up the way i want it to be so now let me go back to the preview and show you this is how the preview is going to look like then with our song video down here the download link everything the whole tags these are the tags so this is the video as you can see it's loading actually loading so everything you can see everything the work is work it is being set out well and it's working perfectly well so after this now i'm just going to come back here and publish my post so this is actually how you can actually be able to do all these things without stress just click on publish and it's going to publish your video for you and your audio so i guess you might have actually learned a lot from this maybe in order of my video i'm going to actually find a way of getting another alternative for this cloud of because i'll be showing you a little bit on how to move around with the whole cloud of how to upload to other this and getting the link from there and uploading it to your site so i'll be in that will come in another video not on this particular one so i guess this might be able must have been able to solve most of your problem so in case you just actually joining me for the first time please don't forget to subscribe to my channel ensure you subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new video you can actually support me by actually following me on facebook i have several pages on facebook and for this for my blog crownexplicit.com you can actually search for a crownexplicit.com a page on facebook and just ensure you like and follow me up there i also have another one kingspread designs and tech I mean Kingspread Designs, you can actually follow me up on that also. And don't forget to uh, subscribe. If you like this video, you can actually leave, leave a like, thumbs up on the video, share it with your friends and drop a comment. Until next time, bye.